If you're still using the AC method, it's not looking good, Moi. Let me show you guys how we should be doing it nice and quickly. So, we're gonna explore these four quadratics, we're gonna factorize them, and we're gonna go harder in terms of difficult, you know. So, how do we factorize a basic quadratic where the coefficient of x squared is one? Well, very simply, we have x and x. Then we're just thinking what multiplies to give you 28 but adds to give you three. Now our options for 28 are one and 28, two and 14, three doesn't go, four does go seven times, and then you'll return back to seven, then we're done. Now obviously none of these two are gonna make three, it's gonna be this one. How'd you make plus three? Is if you have plus seven minus four. All right, and that's factorized. Now, keep this same energy when you do everything else, okay? So here, when we factorize this, we're saying what multiplies to give you 2x squared? It is going to be 2x and it's going to be x. And then, in the end here, we're saying what multiplies to give you 5? Yeah, it's going to be 5 and 1. So we have no real option here. I'm going to go back to my black pen. I feel like this is running out of ink. You have options here. Because this is not just x and x, like with this example, you could have had plus 7 here and you could have had minus 4 there. It's the same thing. Here, though, it does make a difference where we put the 5 and the 1. So you could have the 5 here, the 1 here, or 1 here, 5 here. So don't think too much. As you get more experience, you'll know which one to choose. But let's just roll the dice. I mean, I wrote this one first. I'll just put 5 here, 1 here, yeah? Now, this is where all of my GCSE students know this as Neil does maths, oyoi method. Oyoi, meaning, you know, foil. Foil means you multiply the first terms, the outer, the inner, and the last when expanding brackets. Brackets! You only focus on the oi, yeah? The outer and the inner, okay? Because it's that multiplication that's going to give you the middle term. Here, you have 7 minus 4, which is 3. But we just don't need to think about it too much because it's x and x, okay? Now, 2x times 1 is 2x, and this gives me 5x. Is it possible for 5x and 2x to make minus 3x? The answer is yes. If you have 2x minus 5x minus plus, okay? Plus, minus, and that's factorized, okay? It's super quick, right? So, let's apply it to something even more tricky. Now, with this one, we have even more options. Because when we consider what multiplies by itself, or not by itself, sorry, what multiplies to give you 4x squared, you have 1 and 4, 2 and 2, okay? So you have the option of 4x and x, 2x and 2x. Now, my advice to all my students is Always choose the combination which is closest together first. All of my GCSE students are experts at this. If you are interested in my GCSE courses, then obviously you can head to the description. There is a link to find out more. So let's put 2x and 2x. Now 15, there is also a couple of options. We have 1 and 15, and we have 3 and 5. Okay, again, choose the option that's closest together first. Okay, I'm going to try. 3 and 5. Now let's do our oi oi. So we have 2x times 5, that's 10x, and this gives me 6x. Is it possible to make 16? Absolutely. It's factorized. Now we get to the big boy, yeah? If you can't do this, it's all good. I would pause the video, try and employ these tactics and see if you get it. All right, it just takes a bit of practice, but then as you get better and better, you're gonna be super quick. The AC method, ain't nobody got time for that. 12 times 60, then you have to break it down into 29, then you have to split the middle term, then you have to factorize, then factorize again. By the time you've done all that, someone who's experienced at doing this will have been done in one ninth of the time. So we're saying what multiplies to give you 12x squared? So we have options. We have 12x and x, yeah, 12 and one. We have 2 and 6, we have 3 and 4, okay? Which option do you think we should try first? The ones closest together, 4x and 3x. 60, we have tons of options. So let's go through them, 1 and 60, 
2 and 30. Uh, 3 goes in 20 times. 4 goes in 15 times. 5, 12, 6 and 10. Um, 7, no. 8, no. 9, no. So, wait. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, why did I write that one second? But anyway, doesn't matter. So these are all of our options, okay? Um, yeah, six, eight, why am I thinking eight does? Now nah, guys, I'm booging, all right? Now this option here is not going to work. And I know that because of this four, okay? Because our options, I'm gonna show you guys the logic behind this, but an experienced factorizer would not even try this option, okay? Now remember, the two ways we could do this is six and 10 or 10 and six, all right? Now, if you put six or 10 into this, can you see there's both four and either six or 10? They are even, okay? If you have something like this, you could factorize out a two. If you had 10 in there, you could factorize out a two. But from here, you cannot factorize out a two, meaning you're not allowed to factorize out a two from here. And also the six couldn't even go in here anyway because of the three and the six. There can be no common multiples. So because four is even and both of these are even, I just know this option is not going to work. If we look at five and 12, the 12 cannot go into this bracket, okay? It means it has to go into this bracket, but it can't go into this bracket because there's a three. They're both divisible by three. It's not gonna work. I'm not even gonna try it. The next one is the four and the 15. And it's another one which you can't do because if four goes here, you'll have two fours. If you have four and 15. Actually, no, maybe it will work. Why? So that if the four can't go here, it would have to go here. The 15 wouldn't be able to go in this bracket anyway because they both are divisible by three. So the 15 would have to go here, okay? So obviously I'm explaining this, but if you do this just by thinking and you're writing things down, you can go through these processes super quick. Now, we go to the oi oi part of this and see if it works. So we have four times four is 16x, and this gives you 45x. Is it possible for 45 and 16 to make 20 minus 29? The answer is yes, if you have plus and minus. Okay, so remember 45 minus 16, you borrow three, there you get nine, 29. So you need a plus, and here you need to get that minus, and that is factorized. So this is the Neil Does Maths Oi Oi Method. Trust me, if you just take your time, practice it, you will be able to factorize anything super, super quickly. So if you practice enough time, you'll be able to do this in like a minute. Yeah, it's not a problem. All of my GCSE students, they practice this a ton, and now they are all experts, and they are forever thankful for not having to use the AC method. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Nice.